Hey guys, we're gonna jump into October 4th birthdays uh, right out the gate. We're gonna get into it. Amy Leo, happy birthday. Miss Hannah, happy birthday to you. Tiffany and Zara, happy birthday. Delia and Charlotte, I wanna wish all of you guys a happy birthday. There's seven right there. If I missed you too, please put your name down below in the video today. All of the videos are gonna be specified in love for Friday's energy. It's October 4th and happy birthday to all the Libras celebrating today. So first we're gonna get into, you know, it's funny, I pre-selected a photo today for the new love video and it's going to be, what are they looking for? What are you looking for? In a sense, it looks at principles. In a sense, it looks into what we're needing in the new earth. If we get married, if we get engaged, if we're looking at long-term, if you are not looking for anything long-term, this is probably not your video today, okay? Because we're gonna get into it. We're gonna have a slight bonus as well, and we're gonna see how they see you. So they see you as a blessing with the yellow canary. This is the first one. I'm just gonna lay out the energy. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Love is at the bottom. Um, let's get one on the shuffle. How do they see the collective? Thank you. Look at that prominent um, wisdom. So you're very smart. You carry a lot of that each and every day, 24 seven, 24 nine, if you want. Uh, with the wisdom card, it's just saying that somebody trusts you with that part and that aspect of yourself. It could be really deep here. It could be below the surface level conversation of romance. There's something different to you. It's like October 4th energy is basically enlightenment plus the intuition that you've kept upholding, that you've stuck by. Um, I saw this card. What's really funny is I saw the version of this card in another deck. It was actually the energy oracle where I pulled it up and it was enlightenment. So you have wisdom here. If you look, there is a mermaid swimming in the deep recesses of the ocean. She's also like very independently, even if she's alone, she's trusting her intuition to carry her through sight, sound, perhaps even the barrier there of rocks. Okay, she's just trusting the waves, which in the spiritual world, everybody says, just go with the flow, right? Um, they're looking for a part of this, you know, this person could also be very esoteric, be very in touch with themselves, but I think that they see a spark of it very differently in you, okay? There's a different tinge of wisdom that has been carried through your experience, so they might want to ask you questions about your experience coming up. Let's see what blessings is. I'm, I'm definitely going to clarify this card, but just sentiently going off of it. I think you could be even a September Libran going into the early October. Okay, that where that's where your birthday could sit. Uh, very sensitive, very sensible, very simple person. This yellow canary could mean something to you in specific. For me, whenever I see yellow birds, it calls for a jovial time. Uh, we are heading into colder months, so somebody might want to cuff you up or just be around you more. How do they see our beautiful Libra on their birthday, perhaps? Maybe today is even your birthday. One's in my hand. Delight. <laughs> Last night, as I was putting the, the little boys to sleep, I drop them off very, very early to school in the morning. The last card that was in my hand was this one last night. I was playing around with my decks, shuffling. I was looking at old decks too to use on the channel for the weekend. The delight that you see here, perhaps like I feel like I'm talking to someone whose birthday is today, October 4. They see you as a very enriched soul. It starts at the soul level. They may have been intrigued by your beauty later on or your handsomeness, but I think it starts with the very cornerstone of your heart. You have two messengers here. There could be two people talking back and forth to each other, okay? Heavy levels of attraction too, maybe bird song as well. Both of you communicate through different art forms, different platforms perhaps. Maybe you started talking on a social media network or maybe through online communications, but overall these are messengers in the spiritual world. So we, kind of, we have to bring it down when we ground it and we have two birds there. The mermaid could mean something too from your inner child uh, even a film, okay? Doesn't have to be a Little Mermaid. Could be anything. Could be with Daryl Hannah in the 1990s um, or 80s. It could be something that you recently drew. It could be art that you're interested in. Maybe it's underwater aquatic stuff, but I feel like you're connected through water, which is emotions in the tarot world. Uh, bottom of the deck is this could be a successful relationship. Somebody is watching you thrive with the giraffe. I think a lot of you are going through 
a potential glow up season where people are actually going to see God's work in you as well. And we see this beautiful panther, which is calling back your power. Of course, I mean, it looks like it's eons and eons of years ago, perhaps a little after the dinosaurs, but uh, this could be a past life soulmate with success as well. I don't know if some of you like recently went out for coffee or you spoke at length with one another because there's something coming in about a recent meeting. I think there was a lot to chatter about and we're going to look at what they're looking for currently. So let me just clean up here. These are definitely going to be the artworks, even if we use it in future videos. You could be at a distance from this person too. Okay, I'm seeing the number 16 in my visions and we're going to get it started on the split is the two of cups and the sun, but we don't want to touch the deck until we ask questions. For the Libra, please. Halfing the deck here, we're gonna do a split. The star, we're gonna start off with this card. Um, oh, on the other side of the split is the ace of wands and the two of cups. So I'm just gonna show you where I have it. So ace of wands is a new spark. I feel like this was a card of October three, but nevertheless, I digress and I talk about the ace of wands here. In the morning, I think that it doesn't matter what your age is, doesn't matter what demographic you pose yourself in or put yourself in, excuse me. Ace of Wands is just about feeling passionate again about something. It can be a hobby. It doesn't even have to be love. But I think somebody here is looking for that spark in their life to be reinvigorated. Could be a previous, like, really bad romance. I kept hearing um, Lady Gaga's bad romance as I was channeling right now. So they could come from something that was, like, eek. I want to say eek in this reading is it didn't feel good in the past. A new passion is brought in. A lot of you could be listening to music to inspire you in this new romantic cycle. Okay, Ace of Wands. The Two of Cups is a union. We want to see if that's figurative or literal in this reading. Literal meaning you're already talking to them. Figurative meaning this is just imagined in the 5D or you have feelings of it coming. Now, if you have an intuitive nudge that love is coming, I'm getting, what's funny is I'm getting, um, I'm getting movies like Sleepless in Seattle where Tom Hanks is about to meet Meg Ryan's character and everything's such a mystery in that movie. You know, the when and the where and the how is very much a part of the whole tagline and viewpoint of the story. I think here it's just important for you to have somebody who you could see going into the new earth that has the same goals as you. It's not anymore your past ex who doesn't fit into the story. I'm going to leave it like that because we're going to do some uh, visual clarification for you. So the Two of Cups, that's really nice, Embarked by Fire, okay? Our other card that flipped here was the King of Swords. There's an honest person with integrity that wants to show themselves during this chapter. You ask, why is it the King of Swords on October 4th? It's a very important reading. The King of Swords is about somebody who doesn't dilly-dally. They're a person of honor. They do live by integrity and their truth. So their truth could be, hey, I'm a former father. Um, I wanna start over. Or I am a guy that my heart's been broken. I still need a little bit more time, but Libras, I still wanna hang out with you. So there's a lot of different storylines too that are coming to me. You could also be the healing person in their life. This star card is, um, you remember in the movie Forrest Gump, and there's a lot of films coming to me this morning. He was unafraid to show Jenny that she could even dream. If you watch the movie over again of Forrest Gump, he continued to dream. You know, he got his stars and stripes from being in the army. He continued to make something out of himself in that movie too, which is interesting because you would think with his intellectual prowess, that would be um, a block for Forrest Gump or a character like Forrest Gump. But um, I think that there is a star within the both of you. There's healing factors. It also continues to heal through the years. We have an Aquarius card too to signify a major, major shift um, with innovation coming up. I'm gonna put just a tad bit of info about that shift that's gonna happen, okay? So we combine the decks. We have Leo. We have somebody learning in the Page of Pentacles. So there could be a lot to learn here about your partner. What are they looking for? They are looking for friendship. They could be curious too. This is just a basic learner. You know, all the pages do something basic. 
but the page of pentacles that you see here is learning about one another what do i see in their eyes too what is their intuition is their intuition even strong so somebody might be sizing you up too i see that um the king of swords too what is the what's the eventual okay we have two which is very nice seven of wands which is keeping protective or being too too isolated it's a defensive card right um, the wands are pointing at her, but she's in her own bubble. We talked about this card yesterday. Are you too defensive in love? Are there a lot of factors too, like distance? Are you distancing yourself from someone on purpose or creating self-sabotage? Those are things that we want to work through, okay, if they're happening. Because it could cause a lot of confusion later on in love. And we also have the Eight of Swords. I really want to make a helpful set of videos as we rise this morning together that's about restriction. It's about limiting yourself. It's about uh, closing the store when it's too early. <laughs> it's like closing Kmart and people are still shopping inside. So the Eight of Swords is restriction. Some of us have this, you know, as Libras, as air signs, as Geminis, as Aquariuses, this, this is where it would happen the most with the Eight of Swords. But is the restriction, is there a time to release this too in love? Can we bring down some of our doors to our heart? or even the bandages around our heart. Clarify the star card, please. Four of Cups, looking at missed opportunities. Okay, there could be an X from the past. Um, that's still, I, I don't know if they're lingering. What I get with the Four of Cups is you've given them a second thought lately. I think it's a waste of energy, especially when there are better people around you. The Four of Cups could also be someone around you today that is sitting in this energy, but it's not you, which is good news looks like it's a past person the star card please a little bit more of the star card five of pentacles it's along the same vein it's giving me energy from the four of cups actually is how i read it there is a scarcity maybe in love maybe the love pool is a little too little right now or you're spreading yourself way too thin between work life between home and then looking for someone maybe on your free time which could be very difficult for those of us in our 30s 40s and 50s so there's a level of scarcity that you have built up in your mind which could definitely be gotten rid of with one card and it just flipped right now which is the six of pentacles is taurus energy six of pentacles is about generosity i also had it in a helper card this morning let me show you guys. It's the only tarot card that I had on my desk. I definitely have to check the energy before I perform something for you. So the Six of Pentacles is about growth. It's about stimulation with two or more people, right? Because it's a six, but it's also about giving back. What is the measure of this? They're looking for somebody who's generous, and so are you. So here in the mutual energy next to Libra, which is a really interesting card to be here today, there's no others, it was just those two. Uh, this is about disciplining factors. So starting the relationship with what both of you want and she's a clear throat chakra speaker, queen of swords. Also, some of you are gonna say, aren't you gonna describe it in the traditional way too? Well, I could, but it's more interesting to call her the throat chakra queen today. So speak what your needs are. Also, if you look, one hand is masculine, the other is feminine doesn't matter, you know, how you fall in love or whom you fall in love with, but it looks like generosity is going to be a big thing, especially if heartbreak was the main story in the past, okay? Because it looks like both of you have healed. The star card, star card wouldn't show up if this wasn't an important thing to look at. So two people healing, two people rejuvenating, two people may have rested as well. The star card is indicative as well of Aquarius, and that's where people are going to go innovate in the next new earth. People are going to innovate in love. People are going to innovate while making money. And they're also going to come from this point, which is about looking at things in a new wave type of way. I like that because we haven't thought there in so long. We've been in like first house Capricorn type of thinking or Pluto. We've been very staunch on our views. You're going to see that people even dictate in a new way or they're going to lead in a new way with the star card. What is the last very important in touch? What are they looking for energy? Nine of Wands. This is the type of person that you need to take extra care to make sure maybe they like in their love language reassurance. 
uh, maybe they want a pat on the back at the end of the night, which you don't need to do. But the Nine of Wands talks about being a survivor in love, or maybe this person was hurt in their financial past. The Nine of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, which very, very strong people usually in the zodiacal view of things, right? They're fire signs, so they attack things. But this is a person who has one last fight left in them. They want to get it right. And that's what this card is saying is, I want to get it right with you if you're willing to give to me in the Six of Pentacles. This is an untraditional tarot reading because a lot of factors, they pointed out that they see you thrive. So somebody is already eyeballing you for certain qualities that they admire. And if you look, it's almost giving like eclipse energy by the giraffe, which is really cute. Um, some of you could have really, really loved this animal as a child or have been in awe of them. Um, this person could have features like that, okay? They could stand tall. Um, on the outside looking in, they could be very confident, but on the inside, they could be a big old teddy bear. So we have this thriving card, but this is how they saw you, okay? Clarify the success card, which is at the end here. Six of cups, thank you. Three of cups, 10 of pentacles, seven of swords, which is, it's interesting to be able to look at these cards. Oh, the devil too. A little bit of obsession, okay? This person could, cannot, could come off temptation based. Excuse me for my fast talking. Six of cups is about both of you seeing that there is nostalgia between the two of you, it's really, really sincere. It comes off as somebody is very sweet coming toward you. This could be a past person also that returns that you had a very good past with, okay? So, you know, a little bit romantic. Um, I'm not saying that this is coming up. It just feels like a six of cups, if that makes sense, because that's how I'd like to read it to you. The three of cups. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of reunions, gatherings, happy times in the last spot, which is the likely outcome. We have the devil. Be careful of somebody's um, je ne sais quoi of getting what they want, okay? Because the devil card speaks of temptations. It's very Capricorn. Um, it can be lusty as well. So make sure that both of you agree, okay, on how to socialize with one another, especially like the candor of speaking with the three of cups. How do they talk to you? What is their love language? Okay, do they need reassurance? Um, is this person only looking for lust too? Is That's why the card's here, it's asking you that. And the 10 of pentacles. So a couple things here. The seven of swords is about researching. Also it's looking and it's watching somebody. This is the original watcher card. And they see that you're a 10 of pentacles. You can't even make it up. It's in the last spot could have been any card it could have been the seven of pentacles could have been the nine you're receiving the ten in the mutual energy i think they're going to take a lot of time okay pentacles take a while it's going to take a lot of time to get to know you there from the three of cups finding out where you lie in terms of the future because it's inheritance the future and abundance and they're going to find out if it's the same as you like mirroring souls if you will What's interesting are the big takeaway, Libra, from this main love reading, because we're going to go into different versions. We're even going to do situationship today, I think. Um, the big thing here is generosity over a healed person, you know, having sympathy. We use our empathy after so much growth and so many cycles to be able to help somebody else thrive. And I think that's the bigger takeaway of this morning message is you're going to be helping someone else thrive by giving back. Your generosity is actually going to count with a person coming up. Alrighty, so I leave you with this. Big cards were the star, king of swords, six of cups, three of cups, um, even the oracle of, there was one that I really liked. Let me point it back out. It was wisdom because you're going to have to share this pretty soon with another person, okay? Perhaps even awakening them more if they're not already awakened. You're going to be learning with one another. And what's cool is there's an equal exchange. We have a lot of cards that are giving back. These are just examples of them. Thank you guys so much. Let me know how I did this morning. Let me know if you felt it. If this is the kind of reading style that you do like, please give me a like, just a little push. Um, it lets me know that you like the content and I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this morning reading very much and happy birthday to everybody too.